Now that desktop client revert button is awesome, very easy to use. But what actually happens behind the scenes? We're going to do the same thing that we did last time, this time with document 5, and then we're going to try and do it through everything through the terminal instead of using these very cool features that we get inside the GitHub desktop client. So let's start out by just doing a git status up here just to see that we everything is fine. And let's now go in and change document 5. So don't steal my chair, I love that chair. Let's just write that, I'll save it. And just to give you a view of what actually changed, I'll go in here and you'll see the difference here again. Again, the minus here is just because I changed the line because I got a new line below it actually. So that's why it looks like it's changing that line as well. Doesn't matter, I now could right click here and do discard changes. That's what I showed in the last video. But what if I actually want to just do it inside a terminal instead? You can do the same thing. You can just do a git and then it's called checkout. That's the name. Remember, right now this file has only been changed on my hard disk. It doesn't know the change in any version and I can show you that as well. I'm at the furthest to the right, meaning that right now I've only changed it on the local machine. If it was changed in a commit, it would be in this version instead. So it's just a local change on the machine right now. I don't want that change. I want to go back because the code I wrote was wrong or whatever. So I'll write here, go back, check out um, document 5 again. So I'll save this. Just notice right now document 5 is saved and it says I love the chair. I'll do a checkout. I'll just shut it down here and start it again document 5. And now I'm back to the actual previous version. So I just undid the changes I did. Uh, let's say I really love that chair. Save that. So now something new has come back. Now it's I really love that chair instead. And I actually want to commit this. And last time we did that by just doing a little bit commit to master, right? Let's do it through the terminal again. And how do you do a commit? First, let's do a status just to see what has changed. Oh, document 5 has been modified. Then we do the add and we say I want to add document 5 to the next commit, to the next version. And then I do a git commit uh, slash message because I want to add a message. And let's pull in a message. Uh, changed doc 5. Great. Now the document has been changed. And if I go in here and open the document, you'll see the changes there. I'll shut down to this guy. I'll just open it again. You'll see the change is still there. Great. But I just changed my mind. The next day I come in, I decided, well, I don't love that chair anyway. I want to go back to the old version. But now there's actually a new version popping up here. Right? So I don't have the, like I did before, where I could just right click and say discard changes because now it's actually not a local change, now it's actually a real change that's been committed to a new version. Whoa, what to do, what to do? I had a revert button before, that's fine, that's easy, and that actually reverts to this version of my code, in this case 2505, let me just zoom so you can see that, 250537E. So if I press revert, I'll go back to the version. But how do I actually do that from a terminal instead? Here we have to do a few more things to actually do that. The first command I want to teach you guys is this command. Git lock one line. What it'll give you is actually a lock of all the previous versions in my system. So it's pretty much giving me this exact trail as a text set, right? Because I don't have this great UI inside my terminal. So I'll do this guy and he'll see all the different versions that I've committed so far in my new tool. So I want to go back to this version and here's the exact same version number that you saw before. I'll mark it, control C to copy it and then I will actually say git revert just like you saw inside this guy I have a revert button here. I'll do git revert and then I'll put in the version and I'll press enter. Click. Now it pops up if I want to add something to the revert text. So it just default says revert it back to this change. Mm, I would like to add this comment also. You can keep it as default, but I just you can add more information if you want to. I'll press save. And now if I go back to my tool, you'll see a new commit. This is the changed commit. And then a new commit actually popped up here, reverted into this guy. 
So automatically it also did the commit for me just by doing that revert line. So why should you use the terminal and not the UI? Sometimes the desktop client in my mind doesn't have all the features, doesn't have all the power that I want that I can get from the terminal. We'll see more of this as we move forward. Now you know how to do a git checkout and git revert from a desktop client and the same for your terminal. See you in the next lessons.